barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button click the link below we three days away we three days away we oh that's a blood sign we three that might be a gang sign man we three days away man <laughs> click the link below nine wives man incredible film incredible film incredible film it's a great day man today is wednesday today is wednesday it's a great day and See, I'm going to tell y'all, if you want to come for Fred Hawthorne, Frederick Hawthorne, call me Frederick, you know what I mean? Because I feel distinguished in this video. You better have your, all your dot your T's, cross your T's and dot your I's because I know what's happening behind the scenes before it happens. And I don't talk about it, but I know the answers to the test. How the hell Badu Jack leave TMT? How the hell they got a billion dollars? They know how to make superstars, but can't invest in their athletes. How the hell does Eddie Hearn sees a woman that knows sex sells, but Latondria Jones is the most beautiful woman in boxing? Latondria Jones is the most beautiful woman in boxing. I don't care if you're talking about commentating. I don't care if you're talking about ring girls. I don't care if you're talking about fighting. I don't care if you're talking about uh, uh, promoters. Latondria Jones is the finest woman in boxing. And she's kind. Uh, she's firm. She's kind. Firm as in, I say that respectfully because I'm talking to a bunch of dudes. Firm as in her personality. She's very direct. She's charismatic. I haven't spent much time with her, but I've been in the gym with her a lot, but haven't spoken to her a lot. This was years ago. And um, how come she wasn't a star? How come Eddie Hearn is smart enough to say, hey, I got this, this blonde bombshell. I don't know if she can fight. I don't know if she's tough. But hey, here's what we going to do. I'm going to pretend that I don't know what's going on. I'm going to highlight your sexuality, and we hope that you're a great fighter. Boom, she ended up being a tough fighter. Now she's, I don't know, I've, I, I, I don't know her name, but I've seen the, you know, we've seen the memes go viral. I mean, not viral, but on Instagram. And how come Floyd couldn't do that? He seems to be a master of women. He seems to have a billion dollars. Why is Badu Jack going to the white man? <laughs> I knew this was happening a long time ago, man. That's why you can't come for me, man. Because the receipts will show everything that I say will come to fruition. As I told you guys, summer 2022, it will be a exodus. It will be an energy around PBC that is going to be different. Fighters will leave. Fighters, two fighters done left. Stagonia and Badu Jack. They're going over to the white man in Dubai. You know what I mean? Badu Jack is... Uh, Badu Jack was TMT's most reliable fighter for years. He's going up the cruiserweight. I wish him well. Badu Jack is is one of the gentlemen in boxing. I have a great deal of respect for Badu Jack. I have a great deal of respect for his team, even though we disagreed on the integrity of Tyson Fury. How do you explain that? You know, but uh, Larry Wade is exceptional trainer. He's gotten Badu Jack. I, I will say this. I, I, I believe he's gotten the best out of Badu Jack uh, in terms of his transformations, in terms of his physical change, because Badu Jack should have been at cruiserweight, a light heavyweight out a, a long time ago. And and I think they they put a game plan together and they held on and they held on and they held on. So great job. Kudos to them. And and but how do you explain this? You know, what I mean, like I'm telling y'all. They're not investing money. You know what they're doing? Everybody's doing this. Bob Arum, Eddie Hearn, Floyd Mayweather, Oscar De La Hoya, and Al Heyman. They're only using the money from the networks. They're not investing in their fighters. No one is. No one. If you're getting guaranteed money, why should you invest? You're comfortable. You already know the fighters don't know how to negotiate. I don't care what side of the street you on. The fighters don't negotiate. They accept what they give them. Meanwhile, all five of them are taking 30, 40%. I'm going to prove to you that they're taking more than what they're supposed to say. I got a video. Hopefully, I got time to do it today. 
it depends, you know, homework and stuff like that. But at, at, at the end of the day, how did Badu Jack lead TMT for Richard Schaefer? Now all they got is they only got two fighters left. Everybody else is a declining asset. There is no, there is only, they got what, 30 fighters, 40 fighters? There's only two assets on TMT. That man, don't come for me, man. And all y'all young fighters out there that think Floyd going to do something for you, well, he ain't did it for Roley. He ain't did it for Ladarius Miller. He didn't do it for uh, Mickey Bay, who was a bad mother. Man, Rick, Mickey Bay was bad to me. Uh, who else? He didn't do it for Savannah Marshall. He didn't do it for Latondra Jones. No, they don't invest. Floyd should have his own boxing day in, in, uh, in Vegas one, bi-weekly or once a month. But you know what? He doesn't do it. He's only, and it's nothing wrong with using OPMs. I respect that. But when you brag and boast about being a billionaire, you know how to build stars, and you don't build stars, what happens? You know what I mean? So at, that, at the end of the day, man, I, I just think fighters got to understand, these men in suits, it ain't no black, my, my black brother. They, they, they get the, they use the black brother to get you, but they don't use the black brother to protect you. And trust me when I say this, they don't do it. Trust me. How did Badu Jack leave? He's going over to Saudi Arabia. Where's he going? Dubai? Dubai? He got a beautiful home with a beautiful family in Vegas. You got to make it make sense to me. You understand what I'm saying? But, I mean, hopefully Dubai leads us to greener pastures, man. Shout out to all the fighters that, that's taking the risk going over there, man. Hopefully the money's good and everything's gravy over there, you know. Terrence Crawford will be over there sometime next year. And uh, it is what it is. So at the end of the day, that's where we're at with it. So um, you guys better start listening to me. Y'all can say, oh, Fred don't know nothing. Fred knows damn near everything that's going on in boxing, man. Don't you know my phone rings off the hook because they want because people want me to tell the truth, and I'll never disclose my my uh, my sources. Never ever 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 ever. I'm gonna get a call in the next two hours about something going on in boxing. You know what I mean? So I I, I say this to say this, man. Fighters, at the, above everything that I'm saying, it's about you. It's about your career. Okay. Stop listening to these men in suits. They don't love you. They love your talent. I repeat again. They don't love you. They love your talent. They love that you can be an asset to them. And they only can do what you allow them to do. Rowley's actually by accident. Rowley created himself. There was no money behind Rowley. I saw Rowley traveling to Dallas for Earl Spence fight, traveling all over these places for Canelo. He invested in himself. Shout out to Rowley, man. Rowley is the epitome of creating something. Is he a great fighter? I don't believe so. Is he is he doing great by talking smack? Yeah, he got the tank fight. And you know what Floyd going to do? They're going to throw it on pay-per-view. And you know what he going to say? It's a legal bank robbery. And y'all niggas going to say, yeah, Floyd, yeah, take my money. Take my girl. Take the money off the plate, off the food of my plate. I don't want to I don't want to put this $100 in my, in, in my child savings fund. I'd rather give it to you. Here, take it. Suckers, man. Straight suckers, man. You know what I mean? And I'm certified. Leonard Ellaby was right there when I went nose to nose with Dan Raphael and called him a racist. He was there in the media room. I remember I walked out with him. We talked all the way through the MGM. I don't go back, but I don't go back to Dan Raphael and do interviews like Leonard Ellaby does. Nah, once you're a racist, you're a racist. I don't need you. Oh, man, come on, man. Stop allowing people to disrespect you two times, dog. People think you got to see... See, this fake American version of Christianity and religion tells you you got to shake hands and be friends with your enemy. No, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Focus on watering the seeds that you plant 
so they can grow in the trees and bear fruit. Stop trying to stop trying to ask for a helping hand and be allies to everybody. That's what's wrong with uh, people, not just black people want to be people want to be a humanitarian to everybody. You know, what I mean, if you're a criminal, go do time. If you're a great person, recognize them. Give them their flowers. Stop defending. We got a habit of defending criminals in our society. And, and what I mean by criminals, I'm not talking about like, hey, rob the bank. I'm talking about people who rob you of your time. People who rob you of your energy. Those are criminals. I just said way too much in this video. But I don't understand why... Uh, People just want to be next to four. I don't understand that shit. How do people just want to be next to people? You know what I mean? I, I've never been that person. I've never, you you guys have never seen me at a celebrity party and ha ha taking pictures and doing this. I've never been that person. I like celebrating what I create, man. I really like celebrating what I create, man. That's just who I, that's just who I instinctively am. You know, I ain't going to. You know, I, I celebrate my great friend stuff, you know, because I, I think it's a great accomplishment. But just wanting to stand next to a celebrity so you can get more likes on Instagram or Facebook so people can think you're cooler. And then you go home to your and sleep in the back of your car like I used to do. Or sleep in a one bedroom apartment like I used to do because you're not invested in yourself and your purpose and your dreams. But you took a picture with somebody's celebrity last night. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Don't get it. I don't know where this video went, but uh, hopefully it inspires you to go click the link below and watch Nine Wives. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is the award winning film. We're in the Topanga Film Festival next week. We're, we, we're nowhere this week. Topanga's out here in Los Angeles. It should be pretty exciting. And uh, we were in San Diego last week, Topanga this week. Uh, we're in Africa next month. We just all over, man. We in Rome sometimes. I, man, we all over the globe, man. Hey, nine wise is Harlem Globe trotting, man. Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free to hit the subscribe button. TMT is not. They got a billion dollars, but they ain't investing a million in their fighters. Trust me when I say that. You know who's doing the investing? Fox and Steven Espinosa from Showtime. Those are the primary investors on that side. And I'm not mad at them, but don't be, but don't be selling wolf tickets. Floyd don't even post. I'm, I don't follow Floyd and Leonard LB and all. I don't know if they posted, so I don't know, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say Floyd ain't posted his, his, uh, his, uh, his fighters in months since tank fought, you know what I mean? But you know, he got that strip club, you know, ain't nothing wrong with a strip club. I enjoy strip clubs. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Future sounds great in a strip club. I agree. You know what I mean? But business is business. You know what I mean? And uh, if you follow my stories this week, you know I do business. <laughs> Barbershop conversations, man. Feel free. Hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll holler at you guys, man. Peace. Click the link below. Nine Wives is waiting on you. Holla.